Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Coolest Stuff on the Planet. I'm Catherine. And I'm Rachel. This episode was inspired by a friend of mine, Vanessa, who is from the island of Montserrat. And people are always like, where is that? So we thought we'd just enlighten a whole bunch of people today. Montserrat is 39 square miles uh, wide or big. And it's located in the Eastern Caribbean, kind of close to Antigua, that island. And if you've ever heard of it at all, it's probably because of the volcano that erupted there. The volcano is called uh, Soufriere Hills. So it was dormant for centuries, and then in the early 90s it started um, kind of getting a little active. Yeah. Stuff was happening. And then... There was a, a big ash cloud in 1995, mm -hmm. and there was then a giant eruption in 1997. Yeah. And it basically buried the capital city. So effectively today about, I think, what is it, two-thirds of the island is um, off limits. It's like right. an exclusion zone. 20 people ended up dying. But uh, basically what happened is the population went from about 12,000 to it's now about 5,000. A lot of people left because obviously, you know, their, their livelihoods were not there anymore. And, and um, But there's about 5,000 people who, are, who live there now. In fact, you know, my friend was saying one of the jokes is that, uh, you know, they got about 6,000 Facebook friends, <laughs> but there's only about 5,000 people actually living there. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. They're open for business again, you know, and one of the things is people have this impression that it's just totally isolated and, and, and uh, not open for tourists, but actually they do welcome tourists. Catherine, I was kind of surprised to learn that the tourist board itself, they, they're sort of welcoming people to come see the volcano because people are curious. Of course. So that is actually one of the attractions for people that come to Montserrat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you were even saying that you can take a, what, a boat tour? Yeah, there's a boat tour that you can take um, around the island, so you can actually see, it sort of looks like a, what they call a modern-day Pompeii, you know, all the buildings are still um, covered in ash, because that was where the main town was. So you can actually view that, as well as get a look at the, the actual uh, mountain as well. And see if there's, if there's any activity exactly. happening. I know some people right. go for that. Exactly. One thing you cannot miss, um, if you read anything about Montserrat is the stamp of Irish culture on it and this is one thing I, I think we were talking about it mm -hmm. and we were both surprised because yeah. we had no idea that you know this little Caribbean island is is has so much Irish history yes it does so they build themselves as um, the other Emerald Isle uh, the Emerald Isle of the Caribbean I think I've seen even the Emerald Isle of the West yeah, why do they have that uh, connection with Ireland? Well, two, two main reasons. The first one is that um, pretty much the earliest immigrants to Montserrat were uh, Irish Catholics who were fleeing persecution from the other uh, Caribbean islands. Mm -hmm. And so they settled there, and there's, such, there's just this long history of them being there. And the second reason is that apparently Montserrat kind of looks like Ireland geographically. It's got all the green hills and the... Yeah, all those rolling hills. Yeah. And Continuing that uh, Irish theme, um, it's the only other country besides Ireland where St. Patrick's Day is a public holiday. Yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting too. Yeah, and you know, I think part of the reason is that that day also commemorates the, a slave uprising that they had in, in 1768, so they got the dual uh, celebration going on. And it's very cool too because there's a, such a mix of that African mm -hmm. and then the Anglo-Irish sort of culture. Yeah, That's exactly. So cool. Yeah, they definitely. We mentioned earlier uh, about Montserrat, maybe people hadn't heard of it, but maybe you had have and maybe you confused it with the Montserrat in Spain mm. and that is because when Christopher Columbus discovered <laughs> quotes <laughs> yeah came to uh, Montserrat in the 1400s he thought that it kind of looked like the rock formation sort of the terrain around oh. the Montserrat Abbey near Barcelona oh. and so that's where it got its name he said well this will be Montserrat as well you know we have to do a, a podcast on that other Montserrat. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So yeah. people know what that one is too. Uh huh. One of the interesting things too about Montserrat in the Caribbean is, and one of the reasons people like it is that they have this very laid back vibe. It's almost like how the Caribbean used to be, you know, with that small town feel, um, small population. They have like apparently no stoplights there. And lots of goats. Lots of goats. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my friend was actually telling me that, you know, when she goes there, she'll go to a party, uh, uh, to a nightclub or something, and she'll come out in the morning, and there are all these goats staring at her <laughs> like, what's up, you know? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, you know? So it's just very friendly and very safe. So that's one of the things that people really like about it. So, uh, I mean, it seems like for a small place, uh, Montserrat has a lot going on. A lot of big stuff. We will definitely come out with a blog post soon on uh, more things you can check out in Montserrat, so look for that. And we'll see you next time on The Coolest Stuff on the Planet.
For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.